Hello and welcome to part three of this three-part video series on how to eat. So in the first two parts of this three-part series, I talked about the sort of entree version of this information on how to eat. And then the second one was a bit more of the main course, what you're doing when you're actually eating your meal. And then today, this is the Dolce, the dessert version. Um, so it's more talking today about the things that we're doing after we've had our meal, the correct way to actually enhance your digestion and make sure that you're giving your body the best chance to actually gain all the benefits from the food you've just consumed. Um, and it's not a mistake that I'm calling this Dolce or dessert because some of the themes here are actually um, quite traditional in Italian culture, um, things that work really, really well to actually aid the body, um, good practices for after you've eaten. The first of these is pretty well known in other Mediterranean countries and Spain um, and other places, and this is the much loved siesta. So I think in Western countries, we all really love this concept of the siesta, but just can't seem to bring it into our kind of cultural awareness or our work practices. And the siesta is basically just having a very chilled out afternoon after, um, you know, quite a nice uh, lunch and it's really fantastic to actually assist the body to digest um, that food and it's wonderful that it's actually part of cultures that they might actually take a long lunch so for up to two hours or just have siestas in the afternoon for a couple of hours also though in those cultures they then go on to sort of eat late quite dinner uh, eat dinner quite late um, but that sort of is just what works for them. But us, we can put a little bit of siesta time in when we're able to. And the principle is you don't necessarily have to have this very luxurious long lay down. It can really just be a bit of, bit of a 20 minute sort of um, power nap or just, just being quiet and restful for 20 minutes or so after you've eaten. That can be a really, really nice approach. And it's just gonna aid your body to stay in that parasympathetic nervous system which is the rest and digest. So that's gonna be fantastic to allow you to assimilate those nutrients and gain the most from the food you've just eaten. A slightly different version of this is a little bit more active, but it's still very, very gentle. And this is basically taking a, a short stroll um, or a leisurely walk after a meal. This is very, very recommended in Ayurveda, the Indian sort of traditional medicine system, where it's very encouraged to walk. Um, and it's a very leisurely walk. It's not a power walk, it's not a jog, it's a leisure walk, really just for pleasure. And the Italians have definitely taken this up as well. So they talk about a passeggiata, which is basically walking for pleasure. And it's quite a common practice to do this after having um, your meal. And it's a really lovely thing to put in place. Again, it's keeping that body in that parasympathetic nervous system um, approach so that you're keeping everything quite calm and restful you're not rushing around after you've eaten which is going to take your body into a sympathetic nervous system um, arm of the nervous system seesaw and that's going to actually impair your digestion which is really not what we're wanting that's when food is going to hang around and sit there and not be very be beneficial it's probably going to make you feel more lethargic and um, really just lackluster after your meal and just feel like the food is sitting there which is never a pleasant feeling Another little interesting hack is the um, tradition as well, quite common in Italy again, of having an espresso, um, a, a short black or a, um, an espresso coffee after a meal. And interestingly, this is actually really fantastic for digestion because it's adding a component of bitters. And it's another reason why sometimes um, bitters is consumed after a meal because it basically enhances digestion. So that's a really good thing to be doing after a meal. And um, another thing that is worth thinking about is sweet cravings, which are really common, particularly after dinner. So some of this can be habitual, like you just get in a bit of a pattern and a habit behaviorally of needing something sweet after your meal. And look, there's nothing wrong with that as long as you're not overdoing it and you've otherwise got a very balanced diet and you're exercising adequately. Um, but just something to keep in mind, the sweet craving can sometimes also be associated with a chromium deficiency. And chromium is a great supplement to actually help regulate um, blood sugar levels and can actually reduce sugar cravings if there is a deficiency in place. So something maybe to keep in mind, if you're constantly, even after a nice satisfying meal, that's very well balanced on the palate with lots of um, the different flavors included, which is also very important in Ayurveda. Um, if you've 
met all of those needs, but you just habitually always have that sugar craving, that sweetness at the end of a meal, then it might be something to look into um, that might be going on for you. So that's really it, um, you know, and this idea of what to do after you've eaten as being part of how you're eating is really just focused on, you know, not rushing off, not rushing around. And it's the same sort of things that I was talking about putting in place for the first two sessions of this video series. So look, I really hope that these three little series have been um, helpful for you. And please give me any comments or feedback um, after the video. I really look forward to hearing from people and also getting any suggestions on things that you might like me to talk about in future. Have a great day. See you next time.